Given x minus 1 is a factor of polynomial p, 2x cubed plus ax squared minus 2x plus b. When p is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is negative 6. Find the value of a and b. Hence, factorize p completely. Alright, so to solve this question, alright, so from the polynomial p, we need to take out some of the information from the question. Right, so the first information is here, which is x minus 1 is a factor for the polynomial p. So when we, we can use the factor formula or the factor theorem for the uh, polynomial. So if x minus 1 is a factor, so that's mean p1 is equals to 0. Okay, we use the factor theorem. And then for the second information, okay, we know that px is divided by x minus 2. The remainder is negative 6. Okay, so from this word, uh, we can use the remainder theorem, which is when x is equals to 2. Okay, so if we substitute x equals to 2 into the polynomial, the remainder should equal to 6. This is a remainder theorem. So we have p1 equals to 0 and p2 equals to negative 6. Alright, so from these two information, we can find the value of a and b okay, using these two information. Right, so the first one we're going to use the information p1 is equals to 0. So p1 is we substitute x equals to 1. So we substitute x equals to 1 and this is must equals to 0. Right, so we can simplify this equation. The first one, okay. And if we if we simplify, we get okay. Uh, two times one to the power of three is two. Okay, one squared is one, so we just a and then negative two times one negative two. Okay, b equals to zero, and then we can eliminate two here because we have two and negative two here. We can just cancel out that, so we left with a plus b equals to zero. And then we can rearrange this, so we get a is equals to negative b. Right, so this is our first equation and then we can get the second equation using this information here which is p2 equals to negative 6 so that's mean we substitute into the polynomial p x equals to 2 All right and this is should equals to negative 6 and then we can simplify this equation okay so 2 to the power of 3 is 8 so 2 times 8 which is 16 and then 2 to the power of 2 is 4 so we get 4a here and then negative 2 times 2 which is negative 4 and then we can simplify 4 minus uh, 6 16 minus 4 is 12 and then we can bring 12 to the right hand side so we get 4a plus b equals to negative 6 minus 12 which is negative 18 so this is the second equation and now we can solve these two equations simultaneously to find a and b right uh, so we can substitute 1 into 2 so from the equation 2 we can substitute a is equals to negative b so the, the, the equation becomes a negative 4b plus b equals to negative 18 this is equivalent to negative 3b equals to negative 18 so that's mean b is equals to 6 so we get the value of b so now we can find a by substituting this value b equals to 6 into the equation 1 so for equation 1 we have a is equals to negative b and b is equals to 6 so a is equals to negative 6 so now we have the value of a and b which is a is negative 6 and b 6 Right, so the next question is to factorize p completely. Right, so the polynomial p, we can substitute the value of a and b that we just get from the previous question. So a is negative 6 and b is 6. Okay, we substitute there. So the polynomial p become 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 2x plus 6. Right, so to factorize completely, uh, this is power 3. So that's mean it should have at least three linear factor okay and then we already know one of those three which is from the question we know that x minus one is a factor for this polynomial so that's mean we need to find another two factor for the polynomial 
Right, so how do, how do we get the other uh, two factors? So we can use long division. Right, so we're going to divide the polynomial P, okay, with the factor which is X minus 1. Right, so we do the process for the long division. Alright, so the first one, okay, X to become 2X cubed is need to be multiplied by 2x square and then we take 2x squared multiply with the, the the divisor so the first one 2x squared times x is 2x cubed and then 2x squared times negative 1 negative 2x squared and then we minus okay this expression so 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0 negative 6 and uh, negative 6 x square minus minus so this become plus so negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 x square and then for negative 2 x plus 6 we just bring down here All right so we do again the process for long division all right so now we need to think okay x is multiplied by what become negative 4 x square so x need to be multiplied by negative 4x and then we take the negative 4x multiply with the divisor so negative 4x times x is negative 4x square negative 4x times negative 1 is positive 4x and then we minus we subtract those from the expression okay so negative 4x minus minus so this become plus so negative 4 plus 4 is 0 and then negative 2x minus positive 4x. So this is equivalent to negative 2x minus 4. Negative 2 minus 4, negative 6x. And then we bring down the plus 6. Okay. And then lastly, okay, x to become negative 6x must be multiplied by negative 6. And then we take the negative 6, we multiply by x, that is negative 6x. And negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. Alright, so we minus this thing, it's become 0. Alright, so okay, there are no remainder since x minus 1 is the factor for the polynomial. Alright, so the question here is the another 2 factor here. Okay, so we can substitute there. So 2x squared minus 4x minus 6 is another 2 factor. And this quadratic expression we can factorize easily. Okay, so if we factorize 2x squared minus 4x minus 6, that's it equivalent to 2x plus 2 times x minus 3. So we just factorize the polynomial p completely or we also can factorize 2 out from the factor 2x plus 2 okay so we have the factor for the polynomial p is 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 3 right so this is the answer